For a lot of years, Republican lawmakers have known they could get pressed by proposing blatantly unconstitutional laws against abortion. The way the cycle worked was that such and such legislature from Mississippi or something would introduce a bill that would mark every woman who got an abortion with a scarlet letter for two years or something. People like myself would freak the fuck out about it. It would get smacked down by the rest of the legislature or the courts, and that asshole would go back to Podunk and tell all of his constituents that he was fighting for their unborn babies. Now, this led a lot of well-meaning people to ask why folks like myself even bothered to get ourselves worked up about it. Why play the pawn in this jackass's game? Well, the truth is that women's rights were the pawn in the game. That's the thing he was willing to sacrifice. And now that those once ridiculous laws are starting to see a sympathetic Supreme Court, the reason we did it is getting a bit more obvious. So here's the latest version of this cycle. Oklahoma State Representative Jim Olson introduced a bill in his state that would fine any doctor who performed an abortion and take away their medical license for a year for providing a perfectly legal medical procedure. He does work in an exception for cases where women's lives are in danger, but keep in mind that if a law like this came to fruition, that would mean that in the moment when a pregnant woman's life was on the line, the doctor's chief concern might well be whether or not he can prove that that was the case later. And yes, the bills passed the House with an overwhelming majority because almost everybody in Oklahoma is fucking terrible. It's not a law yet, but given the direction of the political wind, who the hell knows? And given the direction of the judicial wind, I'm not even confident it would get smacked down anymore. And if you need a reminder the extent to which the people fighting for these laws don't understand the consequences of those laws, we got one of the greatest examples of that in history from an anti-abortion activist named Jamie Jeffries, the pro-life wife. She posted the following on Facebook. And sorry in advance for the length of the quote, but you really have to hear all of this. Quote, I talked a mom out of an abortion in February. Her baby is six months old now and was just removed from her family's custody by DCS. Unfortunately, it was probably a justified removal. But this family put me down as next preferred placement for the baby. Dude, me? No. No, 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 no. I do way too much for this work already. A six-month-old will break me, destroy my marriage, and physical health. I just can't. End quote. Now, this was posted a while back, apparently, but it just recently went viral, leading the pro-life wife to spout out a bunch of excuses about all of that being taken out of context, as though that were not a self-contained story. But I don't want to be accused of the same, so let me add all of the context here. Jamie Jeffries is a privileged white lady who never actually considered the consequences of her actions and still hasn't. And on that note, I'll hand things back over to Noah Heath, and Eli.